Hello, how to solve this problem? We have n times n times n equals 8 divided by 27, solving for all values of m that satisfy this equation. So, let's multiply the left hand side n times n, n power 2 times n. This is n power 3 equals 8 divided by 27. Now, I can express it as 2 times 2 times 2. That is 2 power 3. And for 27, I can express it as 3 times 3 times 3. This is 3 power 3. So I have n power 3 equals 2 power 3 divided by 3 power 3. Now, if you have a power c divided by b power c, this becomes a divided by b to the power of c. So we have n power 3 equals 2 divided by 3 raised to the power of 3. So from here, I can take this over here. I have n power 3 minus 2 over 3 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. So we need to expand this. And for us to achieve that, we consider this identity if you have a power 3 minus b power 3 equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2. And my a is n and my b is 2 over 3. So from here, I will have n minus 2 over 3 times n squared plus n times 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2, this equals 0. So from here, I have n minus 2 over 3 times n squared plus n times 2 over 3, this is 2n over 3, plus this, we distribute the exponent, each of the terms, that is 2 power 2 divided by 3 power 2, and this equals 0. So from here, I have n minus 2 over 3 times this is n squared plus 2n divided by 3 plus 2 power 2 for divided by this is 9 and this equals 0. Now, the next step will be to equate each of these to 0. n minus 2 over 3 equals 0. And also, n squared plus 2n divided by 3 plus 4 over 9 equals 0. So, I can decide to move this over here to solve these individual equations, starting with this one here. I have n equals 2 over 3. That is my n1. To solve this, this is n squared plus 2n over 3 plus 4 over 9 equals 0. This is over 1. LCM is 9. 9 divides 1, 9. 9 times n squared. This is 9n squared plus 9 divided 3, 3, 3 times 2n. 6n plus 9 divides 9, 1, 1 times 4, that's 4 equals 0, this over 1, cross multiply, 9 multiply 0, 0, 1 multiply this, we have 9n squared plus 6n plus 4 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation that we are going to solve using the formula method. No. We call the formula, which is simply in respect to n, and equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac, divided by 2 times a, a equals 9, which is the equation of n squared, b equals 6 and c equals 4. So from here we have n equals 
is negative 6 plus common square root of b squared. 6 squared minus 4 times a times 4 divided by 2 times a. So from here, you got negative 6 plus or minus. Square root of this is 36 minus 4 times 4, 16. 16 times 9. That is 144. Divided by 18. So from here, we have n equals negative 6 plus or minus square root of this is negative 108 divided by 18. So from here, we have n equals negative 6 plus or minus. So we have this minus here. I can have square root of negative 1 times square root of 108 divided by 18. And from here, I have n equals negative 6 plus or minus. This is i times this. I can have square root of 36 times 3 divided by 18. n equals negative 6 plus or minus i times this is square root of 36 times square root of 3 divided by 18. Square root of 36 here is 6. So, this will give us n equals negative 6 plus or minus i times this is 6 times root 3 divided by 18. This cancel itself once, cancel this once, cancel this, we have 3. n equals negative from plus or minus i times root 3. If I ever treat this equals 1 over 3 of negative front plus or minus 5 over 3. So we have two complex values for n. n2 equals 1 over 3 of negative front plus 5 over 3. And n3 is 1 over 3 of negative front minus 5 over 3. So these are the two complex values for n. And one real value for n, which is 2 over 3. If you want to verify, you can just insert the real value right here. n equals 2 over 3. n times n times n equals 8 over 27. 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 equals 8 over 27. 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, this is 8. So divided by this is 27. Equals 8 over 27. So guys, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.